Smallpox and chickenpox might seem similar the brute cause rashes and blisters but there are still important things to know about both so in this uh, video i am going to talk about the differences the basic differences between smallpox and chickenpox and you will get some uh, ideas about smallpox and chickenpox chickenpox is still around but smallpox is pretty much extinct until recently chickenpox was a very common illness especially in kids it made about 4 million people sick every year and sent more than 10000 to the hospital and the chickenpox vaccine has made it much rarer but people still catch it every year on the other hand your odds of getting smallpox are close to zero thanks to the smallpox vaccine this disease is all but gone this last case uh, anywhere in the world was in uh, 1978 chickenpox is usually mild smallpox was often deadly the varicella virus is a herpes virus uh, causes chickenpox is very easy to catch if you have chickenpox you will get itchy blisters on the body along with other symptoms like fevers and tiredness and it usually lasts about 5 to approx 5 to 7 days smallpox was very different it was also caused by virus variola it caused a rash blisters and fever just like chickenpox but it was much more serious about 3 out of 10 people who got it died some who survived end up blind or with permanent scars experts thinks experts thinks that it in the 20th century it killed more than 300 million of people kids needs uh, and some adults also need the chicken pox vaccine almost no one needs the small pox vaccine because while chicken pox is a mild disease for most it can sometimes cause dangerous problem especially in babies adults and people with weak immunity system that's why doctors recommended that all kids get the vaccine while there is still a smallpox vaccine people don't need it anymore because there's no one to catch smallpox from now the question is which is rose smallpox or chickenpox answer is very simple chickenpox is less deadly comparing to smallpox and smallpox is deadly severe company to chickenpox if we summarized the whole uh, whole differentiation between smallpox and chickenpox causative agent of chickenpox is viscera zoster virus is a herpes virus and the causative agent of smallpox is variola virus which is pox virus there is some characteristics of chickenpox and smallpox here the incubation period incubation period means the period between exposure to an infection and the appearance of the first symptoms and in the case of chickenpox the incubation period is 14 to 21 days and in the case of smallpox the incubation period is 7 to 17 days and the severity less deadly comparing to smallpox and deadly severe to in the case of smallpox deadly severe comparing to chickenpox and lesions first appear on the face and tongue 
in the case of chicken pox and for the smallpox first appear in the throat or mouth then on the face on the or on the hand now what is the initial symptoms of both cases of poxes like chicken and smallpox for the chicken pox 0 to 2 days of mild illness pass before the rash develop and for the smallpox 2 to 3 days of severe illness pass before the rash develop and from the picture we can uh, say that uh, we can say uh, we can discuss about some uh, characteristics of rash lesions for the chicken pox lesion chains rapidly crusting over within 24 hours lesion sit on the skin surface and look like small blister lesions are more concentrated on the torso and fewest on the hand and feet if you see the picture you can relate and lesion can affect the face and scalps but rarely affect the entire body equally and for the smallpox the characteristics of rash lesions are as follows lesions become from dome shaped we can see here this lesions become from dome shape and deep in skin rash commonly develop on palms of the hands and soles of the feet Lessons are most concentrated on the face, hand, and feet. The lessons are most concentrated, you can see here, on the face, on the hand, and on the feet for smallpox. There are uh, some other characteristics like scabs. Scabs fall off within 14 days after the rash begins in chickenpox and scabs fall off uh, 14 to 28 days after the rash begins in the case of smallpox. And um, the characteristics of pox are more superficial in the chickenpox. And pox are very deep in the dermis for smallpox vesicle collapse on puncture in chickenpox vesicle do not collapse on puncture in smallpox and fever occurs each crop of vesicles and in the case of chickenpox and fever subsides with development of rashes in the case of smallpox and the point of prevalence chickenpox is still prevailing and smallpox has been eradicated eradicated from the earth hope this video will help you to understand the overview of the differentiate between the smallpox and the chicken pox for class 12 health and hygiene chapter and for uh, your uh, examination of NEET it will help you to answer so many question so many uh, short question also if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more updates from our channel and please subscribe our channel thank you